G'day, I'm Cam and here's five of my fave Windows tips. Up first, hold down the Windows key, press full stop, and you'll get the emoji keyboard. Here you can click to pick or use arrows and enter to insert emojis into a text field. And to find what you're after, simply type it out and it will filter results. Hit escape to close and you're good to go. Now the next set of tools is a suite, but I'm gonna focus on one and that is Power Toys. Power Toys is developed by Microsoft and it is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience. And you can install it through the Microsoft store. Things like image resizers, you can right click and scale it down for emails. Color Picker lets you select any pixel on the screen and get the hex or RGB values. But the number one feature I want to share with you here is Fancy Zone. So holding shift down, you can click and drag around your program and snap and change the size of the window through these different zones. Now you can launch the editor and this will allow you to customize different layouts for your monitor. And this is by far the easiest way to put windows in your favorite custom format. If you're anything like me, you're constantly running out of file storage and my OneDrive is always yelling saying that I've used too much of my cloud backup. Now to find where the big files are on my PC, I use a really good tool called Winder Stats. Upon launching, you can choose all drives, a specific drive or a specific folder. When I click OK, it's going to go and scan all of the directories and find out where the big files are. In the top left, we have our file explorer organized by size and the top right, we have file extension type. So I can see I've got 13 gig of JPEGs, but 211 gigabytes of MP4 video files. And at the bottom, we're getting a visual representation of all of the files and documents in each folder. So I can click the different size rectangles to find the files which match that size. And then I can right click and either open, explore the path in File Explorer, or delete the file. And given that video files from when I summoned the whale shark, I'm gonna keep that file. I've broken so many computers as a kid, just deleting stuff so to see what happens. That's how you learn. Probably not the right way to learn. A way to learn. <laughs> so I still use physical hard drives when it comes to file backups. To ensure my files copy smoothly, I use TerraCopy. With shell integration, TerraCopy replaces File Explorer for drag and drop. To reduce seek times, it queues transfers based on drive letter, giving you the maximum possible speeds. But the main standout feature is file verification. When you transfer a file, TerraCopy creates a checksum, and this is like a digital fingerprint of the file on the original drive. If the files are important, you can tick verify and it'll create a checksum on the destination drive. This way you can ensure that there was no corruption from the transfer process. But what if you're doing like a file transfer or a game download that you don't want to wait around for and you don't want to leave your computer running all day or all night? Well, I've got a simple command that you can use. Tap the Windows key and type in CMD to open command prompt, then simply type in shutdown, that's S for shutdown and dash T for time. And here you simply type in the amount of seconds that you want to wait until your computer shuts down. With it being 60 seconds in a minute, we can do 60 times 60, that gives us 3,600 seconds. We can type that in and hit enter. You can now see we've got a little pop-up that appears that says it will shut down automatically in 60 minutes. If you like this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it and drop your fave tips in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.